Hi, my name is Jorge Chavez and I'm a reptile keeper here at the Dallas Zoo. I'm Cassandra Reed and I'm a licensed veterinary technician with the Dallas Zoo. And we were both given the opportunity to travel to Madagascar to help the TSA, which is the Turtle Survival Alliance, with the largest confiscation of tortoises in its history. Approximately 11,000 tortoises were confiscated from a home uh, near Ifadi, Madagascar. And unfortunately, this particular tortoise, which was once very common in Madagascar, um, is declining at a rate of about 80% in the last 30 years. Then they may actually end up being extinct if we don't do something. So they asked for help from a number of different institutions, including the Dallas Zoo. The first day when I got there, I was overwhelmed because I didn't believe that it was that many. The big shocking thing for me was how many of them were pretty dehydrated. Um, and I, to give you an example, when we soaked a couple of the tortoises, uh, some of them would actually float in the water, which is highly, highly unusual. That means that, that tortoise was very, very light. Obviously, making sure that they were hydrated and well-fed and getting them back up to a normal weight was our number one priority. We were doing daily exams. We would start like a assembly line. We would gather the tortoise, weigh it. We made medical cards for each of the tortoises that we treated. They were marked with how many medications they've had on their back also. So we would check that and then the vets would do an exam on them to see if their problems had been resolved or not. It was a thrilling experience for me to be there to see the tortoises, how everybody works together for a common goal. You know, you have the villagers that love the tortoises, you have TSA, you have zoos from across the country all getting together to work on the same project. Oh, you little. This is the culprit. 